well, we're so happy that our, my dear friend Guy and senior pastor Guy Cohen from Anko is here. And uh, Guy, I want to ask you just to give people a couple minutes of an update and how to pray for the war. Everybody's asking us, you know, how can we even give an update? By the time we can get this on the camera and get it out in a few hours, everything's already changed. In these, in these last few hours, you know, we had that uh, Hezbollah in the north, they put out this film bragging that they have all these uh, missiles aiming toward us. And then last night, we blew up the tunnel that they had the missiles in. And then we just got, we, we just got back six dead bodies of hostages that they, that they had, had captured, that uh, Hamas had captured. And there was an incredible case of a, of a man coming in to, to blow up the, in the soccer game at Bloom, Bloomfield Stadium in Tel Aviv. And he was walking, and the and the bomb went off while he was carrying it before, and no one got hurt other than him. I mean, that was because of my wife's prayers. I was saying she killed him, but uh, <laughs> but uh, but there is. I mean, you can't even. And this is going on, and they're saying they got a deal. They don't have a deal. We've agreed. They haven't agreed. The Democrats, Republicans. Wow. What would you say to people? How can they pray? Give them a little update. Shalom. Hello, everyone. Uh, I will speak in English. I'm Guy Cohen. My wife is here, Tali. Uh, with you, with me here. We are from the north of Israel. We are from a village that's called Bustana Galil. It's between uh, Akko to Naharia. And uh, we, uh, let's say, uh, living a normal life under the stress of uh, suicide drones and rockets and missiles. Thank God, uh, in our area, we are uh, protected uh, for now, for now. Um, but we we also know some people that are evacuated from uh, the northern border, the distance of 4.2 kilometers from the border. All the people who are living in the communities along the border are evacuated, even cities. Uh, however, we um, we see that the range of the rockets of Hezbollah is getting uh, longer, and uh, their intention uh, is to uh, aim against cities like Naharia, Akko, and communities around. Just this morning, we received uh, an announcement that uh, in another uh, three kibbutzim uh, near near where we are living, uh, they've been asked to not uh, move, move, move from one place to other and don't be in a group of people and be uh, ready. Um, Hezbollah is not just uh, threatening by hair, it's also uh, there is an a, there is a mushav, a settlement or yeshuv called Ben Ami, and they've heard uh, last week they've heard uh, in their um, uh, homes uh, in the middle of the night, moving, shaking, like someone is uh, traveling be below uh, their their home. And uh, as I shall say uh, today, uh, something happened, um, and uh, we Israel attack. Uh, we are always attacking uh, the threats that come from Hezbollah. But, you know, we have many, many years three, since 2006 that Hezbollah built and aim and uh, uh, build a, a shooting uh, range, shooting uh, 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 that they can shoot from uh, every place toward launches uh, from, from houses and uh, from uh, the area around. They want to shoot against the northern area. Uh, it's all waiting for the moment uh, that uh, this negotiating with the uh, Hamas in Qatar uh, will be failed, and they are ready to revenge. And we know that uh, uh, also Iran is behind the screen. And so, um, please pray, pray for protection, safety. Um, as much as I can say normal, uh, when it is not normal, it's actually. You are living normal under threat. So it's a war under normal life. And it's, it's uh, not easy uh, to live under this uh, umbrella of uh, threats. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we need your prayers of protection. And uh, we need to remember that our fight is not against men and flesh. Um, personally, I have friends in Lebanon. And we know that Israel is going to attack also to the other side. So as I ask you to pray for us, we need to pray for our uh, brothers and family in Lebanon uh, to be protected as well. It's not it's not easy 
situation. Uh, we know that God loved Lebanon as well. But Israel, if, if and when Hezbollah will gear up, uh, we will we will destroy many. As I said, there are many rockets that inside of people's house houses that are ready to launch. And right now, uh, we we don't care. We we destroy houses. If if there is a launch from house, we will take it down. So it will be a lot a lot of damages uh, in in Lebanon. So pray for Lebanon, the Lebanese people to be protected. Pray for uh, uh, for the northern uh, cities. I know that the intention of Hezbollah, Hezbollah is also to arrive to Hadera, uh, to uh, to uh, eliminate the uh, electricity, and uh, it's a lot of fear. So let's pray, pray against spirit of fear. Let's pray against um, a, you know all these rockets and all these aim that will be safe until now. We are experiencing a lot of miracles. Even that yesterday it was one soldiers that have been killed. But if you make the calculation of all these rockets that until now. They have been sent. I can say that there are many, many miracles. So please, let's pray for the continuing of miracles to occur. Guy, maybe uh, let me share one quick thing, and then maybe you can pray to end this. Uh, you know, it's interesting that uh, actually yesterday there were two soldiers that was killed, and one of them was named Mahmoud. He's an Arab. He's a Bedouin. A lot of the people that serve in our army are, are actually Bedouin, Druze, Arabs, Muslims even. And uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's such a strange war. And we've always talked about the war being on three levels. You have the military level, obviously. But above the military level is what you shared from uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 10, that we had th this battle is against thoughts and minds, fortresses of the mind. It's an information war. And so people have to f fight that. And then above that is a spiritual war of angels coming in and what happened in Tel Aviv? That had to be an angelic intervention. There's no doubt about it. So we have the we have the angelic part, the information part, and then we have the military part. We all have to be involved in it, and we're just also so thankful for all of our friends that are praying for for us and for Israel around the world. So lift up a prayer for that. Yeah, and so with the, when Jonas started in the prayer this morning, he says it's not about flesh and soul, but it's the spirit, and we see that. Immediately what I saw, I saw Daniel in his prayer room where the angelic uh, having a, a war just to come down to earth. So, Abba, Sheba Shamayim, we thank you so much that we already have the victory. In our victory is Yeshua, the Savior, and we know that it's all about your returning to Yerushalayim. And we know we are sitting here in Jerusalem and we know that you will come here to sit on your your throne, Lord. Yes, we pray for the government. We pray for the leadership of this uh, state, country. I'm asking, Lord, that Yeshua, you will come and be in the midst. And you know, we know, Lord, that uh, uh, that all this uh, attack from the enemy, Lord, and all this uh, uh, desire of the enemy to come, to destroy, to, to kill, Lord, we know that your purpose is to come and to build and to, to bring uh, salvation to your people. Arab, Jewish, and yes, as we have in the army uh, uh, from different backgrounds, we have a Bedouin and we have Druze and we have Jewish and uh, others, Cherkessians. And we ask, Lord, that uh, with all of this, I ask for a, a revival. I'm asking, Lord, that the name of Yeshua HaMashiach will come up, Lord. And, and even for the Hezbollah people, Lord, I'm asking that you will bring to the soldiers understanding that, you, that they are trying to touch in the people of God and they try to touch in the people that they are the eyes of God, and they will understand that you don't want to have deal not with the nation of Israel, not with the government of Israel, but with the, with God of Israel. And Lord, that we ask you that you will be the one that appear, and you will show your light to the Hezbollah people and their family, and that they will understand that this this is the place that promised by you to the nation of Israel, and it's all about the second coming of our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen, amen.